हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर हरप्रीत सिंह टुडे वील बी टॉकिंग अबाउट अ इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक एंड अ इंटरेस्टिंग कंसेप्ट इन शोल्डर तो टॉपिक फॉर टुडे इज सुपीरियर शोल्डर सस्पेंसरी कॉम्प्लेक्स इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंस एंड इट्स वेरियस डिसरप्शन हाउ डज इट ऑल्टर द बायो मैकेनिक्स ऑफ शोल्डर जॉइंट सो वे बैक इन 1975, सेवेंटी फाइव गैंस केम अप विद द टर्म ऑफ फ्लोटिंग शोल्डर सो ही सेड फ्लोटिंग शोल्डर इज अ फ्रैक्चर ऑफ इप्सी लैटरल ग्लिनॉइड सर्जिकल नेक एंड मिड शाफ्ट क्लैविकल फ्रैक्चर सो अ सर्जिकल नेक ऑफ द ग्लिनॉइड एंड a clavicular fracture a mid shaft clavicular fracture of the same side this is what he said constitutes a floating shoulder but it was not until 197 uh, 1993 in this landmark paper in published in the journal of orthopedic trauma that goss introduced us to this concept of sssc that is superior shoulder suspensory complex so it's a suspensory complex through which the appendicular skeleton of the upper arm is suspended from the axial skeleton so this is what connects the axial skeleton of the arm to the ex uh, the appendicular skeletal of the arm to the axial skeleton so what is sssc or superior shoulder suspensory complex it's a bone plus a soft tissue ring which is secured to the trunk by superior and inferior struts from which the upper extremity is suspended so you have to understand there are three things in this there is a superior and inferior strut so there is a superior strut and a inferior strut and a ring which is composed of both soft tissues so there are two parts to the ring there is a soft tissue part and there is a bony part of the ring and through this whole complex my upper extremity is suspended from the axial skeleton or my upper extremity is linked or joined to the axial skeleton so what is this ring composed of or what is this sssc composed of so here you can see this is my superior strut my inferior strut and the ring which is composed of both bony parts and soft tissue parts so if we look at what all the parts of these ring are so the if we come from, uh, start with the struts the superior strut is formed by the clavicle so this is the superior strut the inferior strut is formed by the lateral portion of the glenoid so lateral portion of the scapular body and most medial portion of the glenoid sorry not the lateral portion of glenoid but the medial portion of the glenoid and lateral portion of the scapular body so this is my scapula this is the scapular body so lateral portion of the scapular body plus this is the glenoid so this is the most medial part of the glenoid process what is the ring composed of so this is the ring so this starts at the lateral end of clavicle then acromioclavicular ligaments this is your a chromian process this is your glenoid this is your coracoid and this is your coracoclavicular ligaments so various parts of the ring if you go from go in a clockwise manner so if i am starting from down starting from glenoid process at 6 o'clock then going up coracoid process coracoclavicular ligament distal clavicle acromioclavicular joint and acromial process just focusing on the bones uh, if you can focus on the bones if you can just zoom in on the bones 
so if we zoom in here on the bones so if we look uh, uh, looking from the side the we have removed the humerus and we're just looking at the scapula and the clavicle so this is your superior strut this is your superior strut the clavicle this is your inferior strut and this is the ring which is formed so ring uh, starts if we start at top lateral clavicle acromioclavicular uh, ligaments the acromion then your uh, glenoid then your coracoid then coracoclavicular ligaments in between so your there is another ligament also known as the coracoacromial ligament so these are the various parts this is just a coracoacromial ligament which is giving just a secondary support but your main part is this part in which the bony parts would be clavicle acromion glenoid coracoid and the ligaments would be the ac ligaments and the cc ligaments the acromioclavicular ligaments and coracoclavicular ligaments okay so it is through this complex that my extremity is attached to the axial skeleton so uh, just reiterating all this so the complex can be divided into the upper part which is the clavicle acromioclavicular ligaments and acromial strut the upper part then the lower part this is the this is the three processes the acromial process the glenoid process and the coracoid process the three processes and the medial part which you, which is the sorry i demonstrate here the clavicle the coracoclavicular ligaments and the coracoid so the four, c4 four linkage the clavicle coracoclavicular ligam, uh, ligaments and your coracoid process so you, it can be just uh, arbitrarily divided into three parts so important is to understand this anatomy what all it is composed of the superior shoulder suspensory complex and to understand what are its parts the ring which is composed of both bony and soft tissue components and the two struts the superior being the clavicle the inferior being your lateral part of scapular body and your medial part of glenoid so this is the anatomy again as we just told you the secondary support is provided by the coracoacromial ligament this is just a secondary support so what role does it play what are the uh, what is its importance in the biomechanics of shoulder so the each component of this superior shoulder suspensory complex has its own function these individual parts act as points of attachment for musculotendinous and ligamentous structures through it is through this complex there is movement which can occur at both your coracoclavicular articulation or the coracoclavicular ligaments and the acromioclavicular ligament so there is some movement allowed at these ligamentous parts the most important part it most important function or most important biomechanical uh, function of this part is that it maintains a normal relationship between the upper extremity and the axial skeleton or my arm and the chest so this is the complex which holds the arm to the chest okay so this is the most important function maintains a normal stable relationship stable relationship between upper extremity and axial skeleton so what happens when there is a injury to a part of this superior shoulder suspensory complex so isolated injury of any one part of sssc is very common and actually is minor so if there is traumatic disruption of only one component you are not that worried like type 1 distal fra uh, clavicle fractures okay these are isolated injuries not worried type 2 sprains only 
type 2 injury of AC joint. Only there is a injury to the acromioclavicular ligament. There is only isolated injury to one part of this complex. Not worried, they don't compromise the stability of this ring. But 